What do you think about the looks, guys? And more importantly, I might have found it. I might have found a sub $100. I think like $50. A little bit over $50. Bluetooth communicator. It's in the box. Let's open it up real quick. And today, after I just made this helmet video, I got a call from Lazada. Got a package from them. Um, I think this is my Bluetooth communicator. So amazing timing. I got the helmets out already. Might want to put this on now. Reason why I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna probably get another one for my wife and I because I have the scooter now. Reason why I got this is because I wanted to record audio, my audio via Bluetooth, and then pretty much um, do my uh, my my visuals from the action cams. And there's my dog licking. You just can't hey, sit down, relax, sit down, sit down. Sit down. You guys are good. Yeah. If you don't know what that is, that's my dog Harry. He's just a little toy poodle here. We have the Gearlick, Gearlick Shark Helmet Intercom, Bluetooth 5.1. There you go. And I guess there's a difference between Shark and Shark Pro. I might have to just see what it is or whatever, but nonetheless, here it is. Tell me what you guys think. So I'm gonna take it to the table real quick, unbox it, show you what the deal is, what's inside. And from there, try to install in one of my helmets. I'm gonna probably put on the, uh, my uh, carbon fiber one give you my honest review on this sub 100 maybe even 60 dollar bluetooth communicator okay what do we get here let's try to take it out let me just pull this back just a bit so let's just open this up right here let's put that there hopefully the dog doesn't get to it This is an impromptu unboxing. Came in really well. Some features of it are going to be as one to two, one to two kilometer range, ultra wide communication. I think you can hook up like four to five on here. Music sharing, radio, voice control. So hopefully it'll work with Siri. Auto answer, connection with two devices. So it's pretty much waterproof to a good degree. I got to look at that right there. IP65. Uh, I'll, I'll show it somewhere right here what, what the capabilities are. Supports three-party communication. So was it three-way and CVC noise, noise reduction. Okay, so pretty cool. So once again, the brand is, the brand is Gerlich. Okay, we'll slip that off. Comes in blue. There we go. I guess that's where your, your microphone will go. Rubber feeling, very good. Your volume, your toggles right there. I gotta see what that's about. That's probably to answer a call. This is to charge it. I would venture to say because there's a battery right there. Okay. Feel of it initially. It obviously is plastic, but feels pretty solid. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break right away. The buttons are sturdy. You can hear it. it's pretty tactile. I don't know if you can hear that. Pretty tactile there. And let's see what's inside. Now, what's in the bottom of this box is the instructions, which this one I will definitely need to run through real quick, right? Right, so we'll do that. Let's see what's inside here. What do you get inside? All right, what do we get inside here? So this is the microphone and we're gonna need some time to uh, put this into the uh, into the helmet this seems to be this is probably gonna be a receiver of some sort or something like that I gotta look into it more this is your 3m I guess double velcro thing right there probably sits on there this is your ear this is the microphone right this is the microphone right here Okay, let's check that out. This right here is going to be, I guess, some of that Velcro to link this all up right here. Let's put that away. I don't want to lose that. This is probably, this is the charging pan. That's pretty much it. And this is the actual holder. So what do we get in here? This holds, this holds onto the, this will hold onto the micro, on the, on the helmet. 
and this is your the tools that to, to connect. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to read instructions to put this together and let's go. And last but not least, you got different colors. Mm, I'm thinking the red, but we'll see what happens. And it has a key. So I'm sure I can take it off somewhere here. So let's just put this all the way. Because I do want I do want that red. I want to change it out to this right here. Oh, uh, I just yeah, I can just pull it off and replace it with the red. Put on the red. There we go. Totally different look. Pretty cool. So okay. So this is what's going to go into the helmet. The, at least this portion right here. This is where it's going to go into the unit, right? For those of you who are in the not in the know here, these are going to these are going to go into the sides of the helmet, right? And what's going to connect onto here is basically you have two options. This this can be your microphone, keep it small or whatever. But I guess if you want a better sounding, I, I would have to say maybe this is an actual like microphone microphone here. So you can either use a clip to have a bit more secure on the on the actual helmet, or you can do a flat mount where literally it's it goes like with 3M, it goes right on the helmet. I don't trust it. I don't trust myself. So I'm going to probably go with this one right here. I'm going to try both things out. Okay, guys. So um, I've done a few things, so I couldn't catch it on camera. But pretty much simple as far as wiring it all the way through here and just setting it up for yourself. It's going to take some time to try to, you know, fit it in there good and look at it as clean as possible. But it was, I managed to connect the Bluetooth here. I, it did work as far as, the, you know, um, uh, listen to the sounds and stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to check the, the voice recording feature of it now and give you uh, an assessment as to how good or bad it is. I'm going to I'm going to take the other camera, try to take some video off of that one and try to sync it in and while I, while I record because it's pretty much that's how it's going to be. But nonetheless, this is what it is. It looks like and I put the microphone literally right there. Like right there. So I'm going to check the video recording for portion of it and then I'll let you know. Basically, this is the audio right now that is picking up off of the Shark Bluetooth communicator right now. And I just want to know what the what the, your thoughts were, how clean it was. The microphone is literally right on my mouth. Um, I'm going to choose to do this one rather than the other one because I don't feel it's going to give me the right quality. Because I've dealt with mics like that before, right by the tip of my mouth right here, with the way you set it up. Fitment wise, it's it's good. It's pretty pretty good. Now, for one when you want once you connect it, because it's pretty easy, like any Bluetooth device. Once you connect it, and you want to listen to your music. Once you play your music, it's a long press for um for volume up and volume down. Because if you do a quick press, it's literally just gonna go to the next song. So I try my best. I'm not gonna be listening to music when I'm driving so much because you know it might be dangerous. So what do you think about the looks, guys? How it looks and things like that and more importantly how do you feel about the sound because this might be a game changer for me as far as you know getting solid quality uh audio while i'm riding and you know hopefully doing better uh at uh motovlogs here but take care god bless and i'll see you guys soon bye